everybody, it's Casey Williams. Well, one thing for sure, Subaru knows its customers very, very well, and it listens to what they want. For those customers that wanted a little more off-road capability in their Outbacks, they created the Outback Wilderness. And for those customers that wanted a little more track capability with their WRX, it's the vehicle we got this week, the 2024 Subaru WRX TR. Let's go look at it. I've long been a fan of the Subaru WRX. It took its world rally car heritage and brought it to the streets, and it became the darling of weekend autocrossers. But it's still a vehicle you can drive every day, you can put the kids in the back of it, you've got all wheel drive, you can put winter tires on it, and you can just drive it like any other normal car. And it's just a really nice balance. And I really like the TR and what they've done with this one. Of course, you know, from the outside, it looks a lot like an Impreza sedan would look. I mean, outside the hood scoop for the turbo. But I think it looks very handsome. The style is very consistent with other contemporary Subarus. The headlamp design, the LEDs, the big grille, logo right in the middle of it. Looks really cool. Come around the side. You get a little bit of that, get a little bit of that outback look to it. A couple years ago, they re did a complete restyle, added, added the fender cladding there. 19-inch wheels, the Brembo brakes. Again, more cladding down below, kind of break up the body sides. But it is, you know, the definition of a sports sedan. It looks mean, it looks aggressive, it looks fast, and it is. Come around the back. Kind of have the diffuser look on the back, the quad exhaust outlets. Little spoiler. And being a Subaru, and even a high performance Subaru, it's going to be practical. A really big trunk for a car this size. The back seat split, fold down, you get all your stuff in here. It makes it very useful just day to day use. So there was one little incident with the Subaru this week. Somebody ran over a nail, punctured the tire, all the air went out of the tire. I was getting ready to drive it, drive it on a trip the day after, and uh, had, had to go hunt down a tire. One thing I found out though, these tires are not easy to come by, although Falcone Subaru here in Indianapolis did a great job of tracking one down and getting it on the car and super service as always. Um, so we had to get the tire replaced today, but it did give me the chance to try out the tire inflator. There is no spare, you know, as with a lot of modern sports cars, you know, the tires are just too big really to fit in this spare tire compartment. These are not run flats either. So when you run out of air, they're flat, but I did get a chance to try the inflator and I have to tell you, I haven't thought much of these, and I thought it was kind of just stupid, really. But this one worked out really well. Cigarette lighter, plugged it in, right on the valve stem, screw it right on, turned on, pumped right up, even a little gauge right here to, to know where your pressure is. So I have to say, this actually worked out much better than I expected. The interior of the WRX is both familiar and special. If you've driven other Subarus recently, all of this is going to feel very familiar to you. The tablet-style touchscreen, Easy access to your to your devices and phone and media and satellite radio, all that. Very easy, very easy icons. Click right through it. Down below, you get your dual zone automatic climate control, your heated seat controls. But what I do like that they do, it's got the nice touch screen. It looks real glassy, real pretty. But it leaves the key auxiliary controls as buttons. So you still have temperature adjustments here, the defrosters are here, and proper volume and tuning knobs and the hazards up here as well. So it's all it looks really nice, looks really fancy, but is in my mind, pretty easy to use too. And some of the upgrades that they've made for the WRX, I think, do make it feel very special. Suede dash with the red stitching, the suede Recaro seats, the nice thick bolsters. I find these seats pretty comfortable. Again, I think if, maybe if you're a little bit of a larger person, maybe they'd feel a little tighter. Um, but I think generally for most people, they hold you in the seat, but they're not they're not so firm that you can't you know drive drive a thousand miles in the car and be relatively comfortable. Also has adjustable headrests that rotate forward. So again, a lot of sophistication there. I do like the nice thick leather wrapped steering wheel with the red stitching, the flat bottom, and the analog gauges. So, I mean, it just definitely feels like a very sporty car. Uh, a lot of luxury features, too. So, like we said, it's got the dual zone automatic climate control. It's got the Harman Kardon and audio system. It sounds really crisp. And safety. This has the new three camera eyesight system. And the key part of that is it has automatic emergency steering to automatically get around we get around obstacles in emergency um, has lane keep assist blind spot warning rear cross path protection automatic emergency braking and adaptive cruise so one of the hallmarks of subaru is safety and the wrx definitely lives up to that i really like what they've done with this vehicle i like that they took the wrx which is already a great car i like that they've upgraded with all the standard subaru safety and ergonomics infotainment systems that all works out really really well too and I like that they, for those people who want to have just a little more performance, I think the TR does that with the stiffened shocks and 
just looking sharper hand in, handling. So let's talk about the economics of owning this vehicle though. So fuel economy is rated 19 miles per gallon city, 26 highway. So fuel economy is about the same as a Nelback, but you have you know a little more performance with that. Price, I think the WRX is actually a pretty good deal. So a base model starts right at $33,000. This one all in, $41,655. But this car offers a lot of performance for the dollar. And you don't give up having a practical sports sedan that you can use every day, take the kids to school, take it on trips, and, and use it as a real car. And that's something you can't get in a lot of other sports cars. And with all-wheel drive, you can drive in winter too. So next week, we'll have another fun car. And until then, storm forward.